What's up, world? Welcome back to the Everest by Rai YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Rai, and today I got another video for y'all. Let's get into it. The day I die, yeah, I just want you to live. Never forget that I put on for this shit. The day I die, yeah, I don't want you to cry. Don't ask no questions. I don't know why. In the day I die, yeah, I just want you to live. Never forget that I put on for this shit. But until I die, no music. No music. Okay, little mama. No music. Now today, I am bringing y'all another clothing brand review. Now, if you saw my last one, it wasn't the most positive, but I promise you today I have nothing but good things to say about this clothing brand. So stay tuned because you're definitely going to want to cop some of that quality merchandise. Not only is the merchandise quality, but the service was quality as well. Now, I decided that despite my past experience, I'm still going to explore clothing brands on social media networks. Another clothing brand that I found on Instagram. I am very suspicious in particular about making purchases like outside of really big brands that are popular, like something where I know if anything goes wrong, they're going to be held accountable and I'm going to be fine. But I noticed that a lot of dope clothing brands are black owned and you know, they're not the most popular and they still deserve a chance to be seen, to be trusted. So I'm going to put a little trust in exploring more. If anybody knows me, they know that I like to buy clothes. I have a very negative relationship with clothes because I often buy clothes. I wear them once and I don't wear them ever again. Or I buy clothes and a year later I find them in my closet with the tag on. So me and clothes shopping don't really have the most positive relationship, but I love to do it. Like I love buying clothes, but this year I told myself, I'm not just gonna buy things because I like it, because I want it. I want to buy items that I feel make a statement. So I'm not just gonna buy a random graphic t-shirt anymore just because I like the color waves and I like the artists on the t-shirt. I like what it says on the shirt. No, I want to buy quality items that I know, even if I did not wear it for a year, a year later, I know I could pop that thing up out that closet and it's still go, you know, still gonna have put that shit on, you understand? Yeah. This clothing brand that I'm about to drop on y'all right now, I promise y'all, y'all gonna want to cop. It is a clothing brand that definitely, anything that you wear that they have made, it's definitely gonna make a statement. The items that I'm about to show y'all is literally like the first items that I purchased me going into mindset, like I'm not just gonna buy whatever, I'm gonna buy pieces that make a statement to me. And I bought this at the end of last year, but let's just get to the name of the brand right i'm doing so much rambling just tell me the name of the brand don't y'all want to know okay the clothing brand that i am about to review is called gallery threads i'll make sure that i put an image somewhere on the screen i'll take a screenshot of their instagram and a screenshot of their website so that you guys if you do want to shop you you make sure that you're going to the right website you're at the right instagram page because i do believe that there are a couple gallery thread instagrams and they look exactly the same but there's only one that's actually the legit instagram of the um clothing brand the style of the pieces that i'm about to show y'all right now i have been looking for something like that and it just popped up on my instagram feed and i was really suspicious and really hesitant so I was like, I, I did the same thing I did before, but a little bit more deeper, you know, investigation. I'm all up and through their comments. I'm all up and through the tags. I'm all up through the website, up and down. I'm looking at their policies, their rules and regulations, everything, everything, everything. Because I was not about to go through the same thing that I had just went through with a previous clothing brand that I have found on Instagram. But let's get into the merchandise. So I got two of these hoodies from them. Hopefully you guys can see it really good. But this is the king himself, Malcolm X, him all around. This is a quality piece. I love to put this on. It's extremely comfortable. Every time that I go out in this, literally every single time 
I put this hoodie on, I get multiple compliments. Not one compliment, not two compliment, multiple compliments from multiple people. People want to know where I got this from. I tell them, just like I'm about to tell y'all, this is really good quality. When you get these hoodies that are like this, you want that that grandma material blanket. You know that, that blanket your granny had at the house and she threw it over the couch or she kept it in the closet a little bit? This is that, but it's hoodie type. And I love this hoodie. I just love it. I would love to wear this around the house all the time, but because I don't want to mess it up, I don't want to get any like spilled juice. I'm eating. I don't want to spill nothing on it. I just love this hoodie. I've already washed this at least two times and no tears, no rips, no, no stringies or nothing like this shit is quality perfection go ahead and cop one if y'all interested they have multiple they got kobe michael jordan chris brown rod way they got the dark knight i mean they have multiple multiple hoodies crew necks shorts pants it fits a little bit oversized so i would recommend getting whatever size you normally wear just get that don't worry about trying to size up to make it more baggy it already comes oversized i believe i got a i want to say i got a small i love malcolm x it is something about malcolm x like, i know we have many great amazing trailblazing black leaders and activists but it is something about malcolm x can't put my finger on it y'all i don't know what it is about him there is something so powerful about this man I can't even put it into words. It's just a feeling that I could feel in the center of my chest. I love me some Malcolm X. Fun fact. <laughs> when I was a kid, I seen the biopic. I think that's what you call it, a biopic, right? The movie about Malcolm X played by the phenomenal Denzel Washington. Shout out to Denzel Washington. Tell me why I thought... <laughs> For so long as a kid, I thought Malcolm X was Denzel Washington. Like, I thought he was Denzel Washington. He played though. Denzel Washington played the fuck out of that role. You understand me? So you can't even blame me for thinking that he was the real Malcolm X. Baby, I thought he was the real Malcolm X. You couldn't tell me Denzel was not Malcolm X. Anyway, I copped another hoodie. Let me show y'all that one. Now, this is another hoodie that I got from Gallery Threads, and it has Nipsey the motherfucking great on it, Nipsey Hustle, and of course, it is in Nipsey Blue. I have not worn this one yet. He only has an image of him on the front on this one, so it's not like the Malcolm X one where you got images on the hoodie and on the sleeves. It's literally just Nip right here center front the marathon continues i have not worn this one yet so i can't tell you if i'm gonna go out and get a whole bunch of compliments on this one as well but i assume that i will why wouldn't i you know what i'm saying i love this one first of all one of my favorite colors is blue so it's just <laughs> like come on when nipsey first passed away everybody was getting all these hoodies made and shirts made you know, that was just going all nip out and I wanted a nip piece. But like I said, I wanted my, like, I wanted it to be something good. I got this nip piece and boom, that's it. Like, I don't need to later on down the line, feel like I need to get something else to replace my Nipsey piece that I already got. Like, this is a quality piece. I love it. I love how it feel. Um, and that's the, that's the same thing I felt with the Malcolm X hoodie as well. I could have easily went on, no disrespect to Fashion Nova, but I could have easily went to Fashion Nova and got me a Malcolm X shirt. You know what I'm saying? I could have easily probably went to Shein or Amazon and got me a Malcolm X shirt, but it was like, I wanted a statement piece. I wanted something like this. You know what I'm saying? I wanted something that stood out, something that it, it didn't look like it was easily put together. This even, haven't even been worn yet or washed or nothing yet. But it's no stringies, no tears, no nothing quality. Like I said, these are like that blanket that you got at your granny house. You know what I'm saying? It's all nicely, 
you know, quilted, sewed up. It's not too heavy. Like, they're still pretty light, you know what I'm saying? But you're still going to feel warm if you wear this. So that's the Malcolm one. We got the Nipsey one. Some kind of like got this silk material um, just on the inside of the hood. The sleeves and stuff on the inside is the material of the outside of the hoodie. But then you see on, on Nipsey's, Nipsey's don't have that like silk in it. It's just the material of what the hoodie is made of. Some of them are different and you can you can see that on the website, which one got the little silk in the hoodie and which ones don't. Gallery Threads definitely did they thing. The Malcolm X one I've worn it multiple times. I get compliments every time that I go out in that Malcolm X hoodie. The quality is there. It's not too heavy. It's baggy. It's my style. I love it. It's definitely not cheap material. You can wash it a couple times. I do not dry it. I believe they say don't dry it. I don't dry it. I feel like that was just common sense. I don't dry it. I hang dry it. I believe I paid $150 per hoodie or $130. Somewhere between $130 and $150. I paid for one hoodie. It's definitely worth the, worth the money. It's an item that you're going to keep over time. It's not something that you finna just put up in your closet and you ain't even tripping off of it. It's not something that you're going to be trying to donate. It's not something that you're going to be trying to get, get rid of quality. You know what I'm saying? You can hold on to it. If you don't just have to get a Malcolm X piece, you don't just have to get a Nipsey piece. They got Martin Luther King on there. They got Kobe. They got Michael Jordan. They got The Dark Knight. They got Joker. They got Rod Wave. So whatever you're really looking for, they got it. They even got Chris Brown. You know Chris Brown got a concert coming up. He he going on tour this summer. So if you need some drip for the tour, head over there because they definitely got a Chris Brown piece. Now that I've talked about the quality of the merchandise and how much I love it and how it's such a great piece, Let's talk about the service because service and the experience is just as important as the quality of the merchandise that you receive. A lot of the times that can honestly make or break someone's opinion or review on you and whether or not they will recommend you, whether or not someone like me will do a positive video or maybe a not so positive video. So the first thing that I want to say about the service and the experience is Gallery Threads does run their website a little bit different than what I'm used to. More like an online store that really has like specific days and hours that they open. I guess the way you can kind of think about that is kind of like a drop. So they do drops rather than having their website open to the public 24-7, seven, seven days a week. 12 months out of the year. I don't know specifically the exact days or weeks or months that they open up their website for the public. So if you are interested in purchasing from them, I would just say pay attention to their Instagram. They are very well about announcing when their next drop is going to happen and when uh, their website will open up for the public. Now that does kind of suck because you don't you don't necessarily know when they're going to drop. I don't know, maybe you could have just ran into some money and now you really want to make this purchase or maybe you're trying to make a purchase like I said before the Chris Brown concert and maybe you're trying to get that last minute and their website is not open. And so now you don't really have that option. Or maybe it's somebody's birthday and their website is not open around the time that their birthday is gonna come up. So you might not necessarily have that gift to give to them on time. So I see that there's pros and cons, I guess, to running the website. You can better control the website um, and your orders when you are in control of when orders are kind of flooding in and when they're not. Um, I assume that it allows you to not get as backed up on orders. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are interested in purchasing that the website is not always openly available for you to shop whenever you want. I noticed on their website that their processing time, I believe it said about three to five weeks, maybe three to six weeks. I was aware of that before making my purchase and I also did make this purchase of my two hoodies was at the end of last year, around the holiday time, around Black Friday type situation. So I'm sure that they were getting a lot of orders in. Even though I did purchase around a busy time of the year, it honestly did not affect my 
personal order. My order actually came a lot earlier than they listed on their website. I believe it took maybe a week and a half from the time I actually purchased my hoodies to the time that they arrived. But with that being said, I did recently just post a video on my Instagram, Efforts by Rye. If you are not already, make sure you're following my Instagram, Efforts by Rye. I posted a video recently with me in the Malcolm X hoodie and I did tag the company and they were kindly enough to repost it. And I did get a few people that DM me and they wanted to know a little bit about the processing time because they did make purchases and had yet to receive their order and it had been a couple weeks for them. So I will just say, I think maybe I just got lucky. I don't really know what it is, but they do list on their website um, their normal processing times. I Like I said, I think I might've just got lucky with being able to get my order within a week and a half of purchasing it. This company was really good with communication. I did see them doing a lot of responding to customers on their Instagram account. And when I got my order, I sent them a message. They didn't know what it was about, you know what I'm saying? But I did send them a message once I got my order and they were quick to open it and reply. And that's always a plus because if you ever have any concerns, about your order you want to feel comfortable knowing that the company is actually going to respond to you so quality items quality service i will definitely be shopping with gallery threads again one more time for the road this is the malcolm x hoodie don't play with it and this is the nissy hustle hoodie Make sure y'all let me know which one is y'all favorite or which one would you be most likely to wear. Make sure you go ahead and like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to do the same thing because I want to see you at my next YouTube video. And until then, I'm about to hear.